Wow, wow, wow. Wow, wow, wow. Welcome into 30 Characters for the month of July, by all accounts. Yes, very much so. Michael Serio is our guest this month. Mm-hmm. Hi, Michael. What's up? What's up, everyone? How are you doing? What a great... Uh, or did, did you do radio in college? No, I didn't, okay. but everyone said I should have. Really? Yeah. yeah. You got it, you got we it. should say, for those listening at home, Michael has a mustache. I do have a mustache. <laughs> so I, set the scene. <laughs> and I don't, and I have for the past few yeah. months. That's I've got thin facial hair, Matt. Matt. I got a full beard. Can we go hipster Gallagher? Like, could that be like a thing? That could be. I, I do. Yeah, think. Yeah, I think like a hipster Gallagher. So you call that a full beard? What else is it? A half a beard that if I went to one side it would look good. If I could wooly <laughs> bully it, sure. Does it look like pubic hair? Yeah, I, a little I bit. Wish but you could wooly wooly or wooly um, wooly. I'd smash this watermelon, but uh, I'm a little too good for it. Oh, oh anyway. no, hipster, you're, Gallagher. You're hipster Gallagher. Hipster Gallagher. Okay. <laughs> you made it. Yeah. Now, you, you don't smash watermelons. You smash avocados. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I don't smash anything that um, is factory farmed. Oh, okay. yeah. So, yeah, no, yeah. P- I don't smash pigs, chickens. Uh huh. Only free range. Yeah, yeah. Well, I will. Yeah. If I know the chicken had a great life. Now, I'll just, s- you know, the real Gallagher also did not smash pigs or chickens. <laughs> that is a valid point. <laughs> that is very true. <laughs> and so, and so, did you? Are you like Gallagher too? You saw Gallagher, and you're like, oh, I, I could do that, but better. Are you Gallagher's third brother? Well, I'm hipster, so I'm like alternative. You know, sure. It's like why? It's like why did chicken cross the road? And then I, as it's starting to cross, I smash it. <laughs> if if it's free range. <laughs> yes. So wait, you only. <laughs> You make sure they have a great life so then you could end it? Is that the plan? I think that we'd all like that. Okay. Wouldn't you like to be smashed by me after living a great life? I don't think so. Michael, I apologize for bringing on a more famous comedian than you right away onto the podcast. But also, how can people get offended by jokes so easily? Okay. So you, are, so you, are like, you are like okay. the real All guy. right. There he is. You're going to walk out of this podcast like you did, Mark Maron? Come on, Gallagher. Come on. Well, he's smoking he's a gone. cigarette while wearing a beret. <laughs> yeah. yeah, he's drinking a PBR. You don't even have to. I here. saw Gallagher one time downtown Chicago. He had a cameraman with him and a giant airplane thing, and he looked old as shit. Mm-hmm. And I don't know what he was. I was driving a trolley, and I don't know what he was filming, but I see he was at Millennium Park. And I was like, that's fucking Gallagher, right? I got so excited. He was probably trying to smash the beam. Yeah. Was, was was he was he filming something or was he there as a as a rogue? There was a cameraman yeah. with him, so maybe he's doing man on the street Gallagher stuff. <laughs> Hard to tell. Was he stealing shots? Oh, what a horrible person! You Look have to stop and talk to him. Executioner Gallagher. He's he's hired by a medieval lord, uh-huh. and he's like. He comes up and he's like, "Yes, my lord," and he puts a hammer. He's got a big, big black uh, hood on. He's a big black black hood, but his mouth is uncovered. <laughs> you still see the mustache, like and they're still wearing the beret. <laughs> well, that's what it's—it's it's a beret styled executioner hood, uh-huh. and it has like a little—it has like like that little tuft at the top. And then they they bring, they bring people out, and he he's, he still looks the same. So he he has like stripes, almost like like his shirt. Uh-huh. It's just the stripes, but the white is the skin. <laughs> oh. And then they put people in they put people in the gallows and yeah. then he takes the big hammer and he just <laughs> hits their head right off. Yeah, he's you know what's crazy? That <laughs> <just> is concusses <laughs> them. He doesn't actually kill them. That's but legitimately how the Russian army threatens people who try and abandon it and get caught. They legitimately <laughs> smash their faces with mallets. Really? Yes. And wow. then they show that video to people before they go off to Ukraine. Wow. Oh, fuck. Some guy was like a prisoner and then he escaped the Ukrainians and then they traded that guy back to Russia for, I guess, a Ukrainian soldier. Uh-huh. And then they used that guy as a video to say, hey, this is what happens. No. Now, Michael, which side are you on, Russia or Ukraine? <laughs> <laughs> Oh Israel God. Palestine, <laughs> buddy. I'm on. I'm on both their sides. Oh. All right. <laughs> yeah, good people. You're Uruguay or well, you are well, gay? I, I think. I think they're both bad. So I just hope they both are taken out. Nah, that's that's oh. okay. okay. I don't mean that. Let me. <laughs> <laughs> I got in trouble for, for saying that on stage once. And, every- <laughs> and you're like, I better double down and <laughs> record it. Yes. <laughs> the nine people that listen to this are going to be very upset. Michael, where are you from? I'm from Denver, Colorado. Beautiful oh, Denver, Denver, Colorado. Colorado. Yeah. You came all the way to Chicago, Illinois. Oh, yeah. yeah. Well, I, I was born here. My, oh, okay. my family, like my entire family are Chicago Italians. So my dad and my uncle and my grandpa all have thick. Chicago accents. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. It was always funny to me, like growing up, people were like, "Oh, there's a Chicago accent isn't real," and I'm like, "Have you talked to my dad?" Because yeah. my dad, he'd always he could get we. A, yeah, oh, is your dad, dad here? <laughs> oh, my dad is here. Well, let me go get him. Okay. Oh, sh- oh. oh, he's really coming on. We way. are on video, but <laughs> there is a video here. All right, very good. How's everybody doing tonight? How's everybody doing? Hi, Mr. Oh, Sarah. It's good, good to be here. Now, listen, I just came. I just flew right in. 
Now yeah. I, I was I was just watching old Bears uh, Bears footage. You know that there's Walter Payton, right? Oh, that and 80s, he gets yeah. up. He gets. And that I'm, I'm six feet tall too. It's important to say that I'm six, six inches taller than my son. Oh wow! Okay, all right. You say that, and you say that. I've met you before. You say that every time. Yes, of uh, course. Yeah, I, I, I say it all the time. Yeah. By the way, thanks for letting us drink, Mister Serio. <laughs> oh, of course. I'm always listen. I <laughs> I gave Michael his first beer at 13, <laughs> and he hated it. That's a Chicago dad thing. That is, man. Oh yeah. Yeah, but thanks, Mister Serio. <laughs> of course, of course. Hey, if you want me to go to the liquor store, I can get my older brother to go get you some. <laughs> Wait, how old are you? <laughs> are you 20? No, I just got a DUI. Uh, uh, did they still let you buy beer despite that? Not me. It was so bad they, they wow. kicked me. I have a big do not sell to it any liquor store across. How many families did you kill? <laughs> Hey, buddy, I, I can't I can't get into that. The lawyer said it's a bad thing to get into, but. Who do you use, Peter Francis Geraci? I don't know who that is. Oh, no. Oh, he's That's a That's because you moved away. In Chicago, yeah. in Chicago, we have a very famous law firm, the Geraci uh, Law Firm. They do ads. Hi, I'm Peter Francis Geraci. For info tapes. Oh, Peter, I didn't recognize you. We went to Maine South together. <laughs> oh, wow. Okay. So you guys are know each other from being Italians. Yeah. yeah okay. There's, you know, General Thad, Mike Spacuza. Italy. Uh, yeah. I'm he somehow a lawyer. Despite the fact that I'm the least charismatic person to have ever spoken. That's right. Charisma is not really part of, you know, the law. Yeah. Clarence Darrow wasn't known for. <laughs> Who's Clarence Darrow? The uh, guy who did the prosecution or no, the defense of the Scopes, Scopes monkey trial. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Inherit the wind. That's a play they wrote about that. I was on the jury for the Scopes monkey trial, and that monkey's breath was fresh. <laughs> oh, really? Yeah. Oh, so, okay. So what's your name, first of all? Oh, first of all, my name's Eric B. <laughs> Eric B. from Eric the jury. Eric B. from the jury. And so, so, you're, the, from, so you're telling oh, me that this was actually... A, this is actually a, jur- a trial about Scopes mouthwash? The company Scope <laughs> was forcing this monkey... To use the product, and Whoa. the monkey got upset, so we had a trial for I that. I legit sure. just got Andy's joke right now. No, it was, Ma- it was Matt's that was my joke. From oh, yeah. I was spelling it out for the yes, dummies. Yes, yes, like yes. You. For the dummies. <laughs> <laughs> but so uh, so the monkey, what happened with the monkey? Did they, was he allowed to use the mouthwash or not? Was well, the monkey the didn't want. <laughs> no, no, the, the monkey wasn't trying to get the right to do it. <laughs> they were forcing the monkey to use the scope. Okay. So they brought the monkey over to the jury box, and they, he made the monkey breathe on all of us. Mm-hmm. And it was a very minty fresh. And we're like, well, clearly they're, ma- they're forcing this monkey to use right. scope. And well, uh, mistrial. How do you know he did? Because it was a black monkey, and we were like, eh, I'm not in on that. Okay. We already did. Uh, we we already did OJ. This was the left. 50s. <laughs> I'm not allowed to be racist in the 50s. No, well, you're not. Also, the Scopes monkey trial was before that, I'm pretty sure. <laughs> 40s. Also, it's not still the 50s. 30s? <laughs> you know, when you're talking about a past time period, you don't get to be as racist as the time period you're If I play about. a videotape of my grandfather, he will still say the N-word in that videotape. That's the way I look at it. Okay. <laughs> but, um, we are going to move on from this guest. By the way, uh, this is Matt's grandpa, Gene Riggs. It's my birthday today. Uh, gonna Gene, we yeah. really, we really. I'm don't not going to say you. it. I know <laughs> you guys aren't cool with it. I feel like he's going to say you it. Should go hang out with Mr. Serio. <laughs> <laughs> <I've>, <laughs> go check on my dad. I've been dead since 2000, mm-hmm. so mm-hmm. I've learned a lot of stuff since then. Oh, you didn't get to see the world change. I did not get to see the world change. Yeah. I did not get to see This Is Us. <laughs> There's so many things that I did not get to you see. Have the MCU. No idea. You have no idea about 9-11, do you? Yeah. Uh, I know it's September, right? Is that what you're talking about? Yeah. September 11th? Yeah, that was a lucky guess. Though. Yeah. Oh, you, what else would 9-11 mean? Well, 9-1-1. Why wouldn't you just say 9-1-1? Uh, 9-11 was a day that this nation changed after you died. How so? Uh, we uh, started to uh, get more cynical. Any we started so- to be more scared. Was there a catalyst for that? A yeah. couple of bad boys hijacked the plane and crashed it into the World Trade Center, brother. That's, oh. that's right. And I know you, you're Thank from you, Hulk Hogan. <laughs> <laughs> brother. I, I know that you're that. from before 2000. So when he says the bad boys, he's not talking about Martin Lawrence and Will Smith. Oh, thank God. I need you to know that. Thank God. He's Was that the okay. last movie you saw before you died? I, on my deathbed. <laughs> I, I love bad boys. Uh, that's why I was a fan of Matt so much. He's a bad kid. And uh, I was like, I want to see that movie about Matthew. God, and Hulk Hogan's here too, by the way. You must know Hulk. Of course I know yeah, Hulk. Yeah, he loves the tape probably. <laughs> the tape. Oh, yeah. Again, I don't know what oh, you're talking God. about. Not more people who have recorded saying the N-word <laughs> on tape. 
Did well, you have sex with Bubba the Lump Sponge's uh, wife? Did yes, I say that right? Bubba I had sex with everyone involved. Oh, that's oh, fun. Wow. Good times. Did you kill the in the WCW? Oh, yeah. There's a documentary about it. On Vice. On Vice. Or YouTube, mm-hmm. if you just watch on YouTube. Oh, yeah. I, f- I forced Chris-, Chris Benoit to do it, too. <laughs> oh, no. You forced <laughs> Chris Benoit to kill his I, family. I did it. I told him I'd kill his family. I saw that, yeah. Did it. If you want to get back in the Four Horsemen, you got to kill your family you, and uh, yourself. You pushed, s- you pushed Owen Hart off the, t- off the uh, rafters. Yeah, I yeah. I said, I said, either oh you God. kill your family, I'm going to kill him myself, brother. <laughs> that sucks, man. That Hulk, I always knew you sucked. Mr. Man. Hogan. Jeez. That's right. I'm, I'm anti- sorry you're talking to me. Hmm? I'm sorry. I thought you said Mr. Hogan. I thought you were talking to oh, me. Oh, you're, what's your first name, though? Paul. Paul yeah, Hogan. Yeah, Paul Hogan. I play Crocodile Dundee. That's not a knife. This is a knife. You know the movie. Sunday, when I was hosting my open mic, uh, I forget how The Simpsons came up, but... Uh, I think it was during Michael Myers' set, but he brought up The Simpsons, and then I go, uh, what's your favorite Simpsons memory and stuff? And then throughout the rest of the night, I was like, everyone has to say their favorite memory from The Simpsons, and a lot of people did it, wow. and there were some good bits, like, uh, I see no, you I see played, played Knifey Knife Spoonie. Spoonie before. That's my favorite when they go to Australia. Of course. <laughs> yeah. Cool. My favorite is uh, the Lollapalooza episode where mm-hmm. Homer meets Billy Corgan and Billy Corgan goes, Billy Corgan, smashing pumpkins. And Homer goes, Homer Simpson, smiling politely. <laughs> <laughs> I love, uh, I, 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 it's, it's basic, but I love Dr. Zayas, the sure. planet of the apes. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I mean, my favorite is definitely. You're also crazy. <laughs> <laughs> my favorite is definitely when uh, Lisa goes in and Mr. Smithers is like showing her something about oh. the Barbie doll, and then he turns on his computer and it's Mr. Burns naked, going, "Hello, Smithers, you're quite good at turning me on." And he goes, "You should probably ignore that." <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, I I could talk for hours about it. I'm Matt Groining. Oh, oh hey, Matt Groining. I don't really know too much about you. Well, I'm uh, fat. <laughs> Was that true? Uh, I'm a huge were guy. You on Epstein's plane. <laughs> I what? think you yeah, were. I'm pretty wait, sure really? You were. Yeah. yeah. What do you mean? Wait, really? you were drawing like, pictures on Epstein's plane. <laughs> well, I think the I was trying to figure out what the young kids like. <laughs> Is that what it was? Yeah. Yeah. So I was like, you guys like cartoons that are so, so, social political commentary, mm-hmm. um, and have four fingers. And I understand also on that island you had a cow. <laughs> yeah. Uh, well, I had you requested some, no kids. You said, I'd I like mean, to one a, of my kinks <laughs> is someone eating my shorts. <laughs> <laughs> so you requested to have a cow eat your shorts. Yes. <laughs> okay, that's what I thought. They dough. had cows on there. And yeah. I understand you put up some pretty big dough for that. Like mm-hmm. cash. Springfield. Exasperated <laughs> grunt. <laughs> but yeah, I always, um, I signed uh, a lot of the episodes. You'd see an MG on at oh. the bottom of the episodes, I, I think. Then that wasn't Marjorie Taylor Greene. No, no, because she's MTG. Okay. She was only a writer on the first season, like maybe for a couple episodes. Oh, well, that. that's fair. She comes from the Harvard Lampoon. <laughs> and yeah. That whole group. Her and Conan started around Her the same time. Her and Ian Graham Maxitone. Ooh. <laughs> Honestly, wouldn't you all agree it'd be fun to watch Marjorie Taylor Greene host SNL? I mean, <laughs> sure. If Lauren Bobert's in the audience. Jacking a guy off. <laughs> Jerking him off. Okay, can I clarify some things about that? I'm the guy that she was jacking off. Oh, hello, sir. Oh, my God. Hi, how's it going? My name's Jack. That's unfortunate. But you're not sa- you're not saying your real name for security purposes, right? I'm putting you down as guy jacked off by LB. Yeah. Yeah, okay. Jack jack off. Yeah, my name well my, no, of course that's not my real name. My real name's John. Jack's a nickname, and my last name is off by off by Lauren. And y- she also jacked off your friend Jacob Jingleheimer Schmidt. Yeah, yeah. Do you know him? Uh well that's my name too. Oh, who are you? Oh. Whenever we go out, well the people always shout uh uh-huh. John jacked off by Lauren Bobert Schmidt. <laughs> So I'm. <laughs> so you're. Guy, I'm guy. Let's just back Jake, it up. Who I'm are guy you? Jacob Jingleheimer Schmidt and jacked off by. You're guy jacked off by LB, and I'm guy Jacob Jingleheimer. And what was I doing here the whole time? Paul Hogan. Yeah, you're telling me I just showed up for that one line, and I don't have anything to do. I mean, I was in a major franchise. Do you guys just see? Crocodile well, you better Dundee make this Los character Angeles? interesting if you're going to bring it back like <laughs> Is that. Is it a franchise? If it's there's two? three, there's three. There's a third there's Crocodile one? Dundee, there's Crocodile Dundee two, and there's Crocodile Dundee in Los Angeles. Go oh. fuck yourself, Wait, aren't Matt. you in New York? Or that's the first one you're in New York. That's right. You're a major fish out the of water. The second one, I think we go back to the Outback. I don't think I've seen the third one. The third one is from, I'm going to call it 2002. That can't be good. Yeah. Speaking of the Outback, you guys ordered this Bloomin' Onion? Thank you oh so much. Thank you. Thank you so much. Now, Matt, you brought us to the Outcast Steakhouse. <laughs> I did bring you to Outcast. <laughs> it's my former employer, Outcast Steakhouse. Uh-huh. And what did you order here? 
Well, I got the blooming onion, and, of course. Uh-huh. And I'm sorry, Miss Jackson, who I am for real. We're all out of that fun of bread. We can bring you in a nap instead. That's a real bit Matt used to do. <laughs> uh-huh. <laughs> and then if your steak's not great, we can give you some A1. 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 But see, it's not as fun seeing it here as it was seeing it at Will's when Matt realized the bit sucked and he had to bad. commit to that A1. And you can see though. him as he's clapping, <laughs> realizing, God damn it, I have to finish the A1 part and then say A1 again. It feels yeah. for like five to ten seconds feels long when people are hating what you're doing. It oh, <laughs> immensely yeah. long. Yeah. <laughs> you're talking to a guy that did characters at stand-up open mics when he first started. I know, oh. I remember that. <laughs> Didn't you do Al Pacino or something? Or? Uh, well, yeah, I did a little. Who uh, Al Pacino? <laughs> oh, that's pretty good. Not a character, I guess. No, 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 no but he is here. Wait. Oh, me, wait. Uh, hang on. Hang, on, uh, hang on. He's walking in for oh, five minutes. Oh, oh my god. <laughs> and he's uh, bringing in. He's his, riding a horse. In? <laughs> he's also carrying his infant son. <laughs> oh yeah, that's true. Al, get off your horse and put your infant son down. Oh, okay. I got a little. He's a little baby boy. I, mean, I give him his tummy rubs <laughs> at night. Oh, that's nice. That so must my, be nice. My, for my, you. my wife has to take care of both of us because we both have the the bladder of an infant. That's true. Yeah. yeah double double changing diaper. Just Costco diapers. <laughs> Al, you ordered uh, Aussie cheese fries and a glass of wine. Oh, thank you. <laughs> that's a classic. <laughs> By the way, I do white wine pairs great with Aussie cheese fries. <laughs> oh, did you? I sorry, I brought you. Okay, I, did you order a red? You can't remember what you ordered? You don't know what you normally like to drink? And the bottle says Oppenheimer. <laughs> no, you weren't supposed to read it that fast, That's Al. what You're supposed to like build up some tension. and like, What's like, going on? Oh, okay. So, oh, yeah, is, I didn't see the Oscars. Is that what happened? <laughs> yeah. was, oh, yeah. I died laughing. Because he, he, doesn't, he doesn't give any speech. He just goes. He just gets the card and goes, and I read Oppenheimer. And everyone is like, oh, 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 oh I guess we're done. <laughs> He's like, right. and, then, and then he goes, and then people start walking to the stage and he goes, what's going on? <laughs> <laughs> Anyhow, I'll replace your wine for you, sir. Thank you. Thank you. I like that. I like that. Oh, and Robert De Niro's here. I like that. Hey, server, <laughs> I got nipples. You want to milk me? Okay, Mr. De Niro. I just go around. Oh, oh, and you have your infants on here, too. That's right. I got this. This is also Robert De Niro only from. That franchise the, with Ben Stiller and also The Intern. Mm-hmm. The franchise with Ben Stiller. Meet, oh, the, meet Fockers. the Fockers. And Only analyze this one. or no? Gonna nope. Meet me. Nope. Nope. But The Intern, if you want to talk about The Intern, I'm happy to. So you're not, so you're, but you're not the Robert De Niro in the sense that like you aren't doing speeches outside of Trump's conviction and nope. then fighting with people. <laughs> nope. <laughs> the thing that, that the guy playing you does <laughs> nope, <laughs> oddly a, a lot. Not going to do it. <laughs> Not gonna do it at this juncture. Wouldn't be prudent. <laughs> Wouldn't be prudent at this juncture. I'm no Dana Carvey. I'll tell you that. How you feel about broccoli? <sighs> Not good. <laughs> Not good. Okay, I don't okay. like it. Let me oh help. wait. Meet not from meet the parents, not meet the fuckers. And the intern. Don't forget about the intern. Uh-huh. Does no, no one, one else like this movie, The Intern? You know, I can't say I ever saw it, but I do love Anne Hathaway. It's actually a very delightful movie. Really? Yeah, it's a very good one. So what happens in it? Uh, I'm. I play an intern, and I work at a company. And On board so it, far. It's funny because he's old. I'm old. He's not. Yeah, this I'm is, an old this intern. This is Mean Streets De Niro. No. Is. And I'm like, hey, Anne Hathaway, I got nipples. Do you want to milk me? <laughs> yeah, you do say that a lot. In the I movie. say it a lot. Yeah. I think it's most off-putting in Godfather 2. Because mm-hmm, you, you say it in Italian, it's subtitled. <laughs> Again, I don't, <laughs> I, I don't know what you're talking about. I only know two movies. I say, chip on a nipple, it can't even nipple me. That's how you say it. Uh, I'm, whoever you're talking about, I'm sure they did a good job. <laughs> but that that but wasn't that. This not is you. not a what good Andy impression. What Andy said, and we'll put subtitles on. So he said, mm. "Does Marcellus Wallace look like a bitch?" <laughs> uh-huh. What? <laughs> what ain't no? Well, say it in Italian. What ain't no country I ever okay, heard of? You say K. K. Yeah, that's closer. Okay. No, but you do the line now. K, uh, what ain't no country I've ever heard of? Yeah. Oh, uh, in Italian. Mm-hmm. Okay. K. No pesa. No ne canoli. K. Uh, uh, oh wait, hang on, D D D K again. K D to K again. <laughs> Got real, and I'm Italian, by the way. So you want a bite of this burger? No. What oh, kind of? Well, what kind of burger? It's a big Kahuna burger. <laughs> okay, I'll try it. Okay. All right. Is that from the intern or is that from Meet the Parents? Ah, it's from Pulp Fiction. I'm not in that. Mm, movie. Bravissimo, tasty oh, burger. It's a good burger. Yes, yeah, easy. It's see. breakfast time. What do they call burgers. a What do they call a Big Mac in Italy? Ah, uh, Cintani Big Mac. 
I didn't go to Burger King. That means 100 years Big Mac. <laughs> what, do they call, what do they call a quarter pounder with cheese in Italy? I only went into... Oh, that's also at McDonald's. Shit. <laughs> um, well, uh, they call it uh, 8.3 ounces uh, with fromage. <laughs> no, wait, that's French. <laughs> Yeah, it's like goat cheese on their burgers. Formaggio, of course. Mm-hmm. What do they call chicken nuggets? Uh, they call them uh, boneless uh, wings. This is still Andy, though, right? No, I think I've become a character. <laughs> okay, fine. Point. Uh, and what do we call it? Italian translator guy. <laughs> yeah, see, I work for Duolingo. Oh, fine. Uh-huh. I, do, I tell the owl what to tell you guys. If, if, uh, the owl just, you know, the owl is disappointed in you, but he don't know to be dis- disappointed in you until I tell him whether or not you're doing good, you're doing bad, whatever. And so, do you know the owl I'm talking about? You're looking at me like you're No, I'm just more idiot. noticing that you sound a lot like Andre the Giant. No, I don't <laughs> think I do. I don't think I do. <laughs> Anybody want a peanut? I don't, I'm not sorry. Who's, Who's that? that? Could be Andre the Giant. Oh, oh, no. oh just, do we have dueling Andre oh the Giant? What's going on here? It's, I'm Andre the Giant. I'm Andre the Giant. <laughs> that one. I'm the real oh. one. <laughs> I why just do we, uh, first of all, why do we have to shoot anyone? <laughs> oh, yeah, okay. I guess You're I, already dead. Oh, yeah, well, then shoot him and then he'd be dead, too. Oh. This is like that Spider-Man meme that's so funny. Well, well, they pointed at each other. Yeah. yeah. Oh, my God. That's that, hilarious. Those, those memes just crack me up. Dude, it's so funny. It's like, you're Spider-Man. No, you're Spider-Man, but then you <laughs> place a situation. Uh, every, man, every time I see a meme online, I just you crack ga- up. You guys know that the real Andre doesn't like memes, so that's not the real guy. You don't like memes? Yeah, that's famous about me. I don't like memes, and I hate Hulk Hogan. <laughs> uh, I don't know, though, those. because you've been dead for a while. Yeah, and I've so been up in heaven, and there's no memes in heaven. Aren't you kind of like a meme that just got turned into a poster? No, that was a piece of art. By Shepard Fairey? Shepherd the Fairy. great, great, honorable Shepard Fairey. He's a good dude. Who did the uh, Hope Change posters oh, for that's Obama. that's right. Yeah. Good but he him. also put my face on, and it says... Fear. Fear? What does it say? Obey. What does it say? Obey. Obey. No, it says fear. Yes, it says <laughs> obey, which is uh, pig Latin for bull. Yeah, I think it's all hack. <laughs> Who are you? Banksy. <laughs> oh, hello, Banksy. First time okay. showing my face. I love that you have now that the, voice. You can list- have any voice in the world. The no, I'm British. The, oh, listener, the right. listener can tell, but for the... For the uh, audio listener, what, what we can see is a big pixelated, blurred out person mm-hmm. sitting in the chair yeah. over there. Yeah. I bet did uh, that artwork where I put a Guantanamo prisoner in Disney. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Pretty cool. You um, sold that painting and then shredded it. That's honestly my favorite thing you've ever Is that done. from <laughs> uh, Enter Through the Gift Shop? No, it's after that. It was like probably exit three years ago. No, no, but there's a sequel. <laughs> oh, you have to go through the gift yeah, shop? Yeah, yeah. So sounds like exit. A, it sounds like a prequel, if I'm being honest. <laughs> yeah, that's what you think. But it's, it's uh, basically the exit through a gift shop. It's like, how'd I get in here? And then you leave. Banksy! Uh-oh. It's uh, your mama! God. Banksy is your Time mom. Time for beans and porridge, it is! I'm going to uh, write you down as Banksy's mom. That's right! <laughs> I ain't got no real name! I'm you just don't? Banksy's mom! God, but if we knew your name, then we could figure out who Banksy that's is. That's why you never going to know it! Well, so your mom is very cockney, if you don't mind me saying. God. No, I've got no problem. Okay. That's right. All right. I hate Banksy's mom. Really? I hate her. What? Bullshit! Banksy's there mom has is. got it going on! This is what I'm talking about. <laughs> so he's quoting bowling for soup? Yeah. Somebody has to, I guess. She's always quoting those indie pop albums. Mm-hmm. Indie That's right, albums. Julie! <laughs> No, don't even get us started. If you say Ziggy Zay, ah, wait till you hear what she's going to oh, do. Oh, God. If you're going to be my lover, <laughs> you're going to fucking eat my poops. Okay. Or as they call it over there, you, you minge. Your fanny. My minge. Your fanny, your minge, yeah. Minge. As you can see why I'm kind of estranged from my mom. <laughs> yeah. Just kind of <laughs> openly but, but talking. But yet, she's calling you in for dinner, so it <laughs> seems like you guys are pretty close. <laughs> well, it's, it's weird because we're not even close to home, but she'll find out where I'm doing my art installments, and she... You know, are you doing an art summit in Chicago right now? Yeah. Oh, is this it? Yeah, it's <laughs> you're gonna you're gonna drop in in comedy podcasts. <laughs> yeah, it's it's interesting because <laughs> podcast is a new art. Yeah. It's, hey, hey, you heard it here first, guys. Thank you, Hey, pick up some oil so we can put it on the fish. Oh my! You don't God. even have the fish oiled yet. No, no, you put it on. <laughs> you put don't you put oil on fish like and right bread? before you eat it, or maybe it's not. Oh, what's it called? You put the... So what did you prepare for dinner? <laughs> Beans. <laughs> okay. Uh-huh. What, see, that's the thing, too. She always, Bangers. 
fingers. It's always just beans and she fingers. Does, she has the bait and switch with the fish. Yeah. And then she suddenly just has She's sausage like, and beans. Oh, I can't I don't prepare think the it's fish. We don't have oil. It's not oil, but what do British people put on the fish? Oh, like uh, what am I thinking of? No, uh, no, salt. That's the fucking dumbest thing I've ever heard in my life. The, the vinegar. Red vinegar. Vinegar, thank you. At least this guy's got some fucking Gallagher bullshit <laughs> going on. <laughs> and I'm not talking about Liam I know. So when you say fish, you're talking about fried fish. Yeah, fried fish. Okay. Okay. Motherfucker. <laughs> okay. For the listeners, she's she's giving me the British fuck you. That's right, I am. Yeah, yeah. It's sort of it's it's the thing. No, I use all the fingers because you're more important to me <laughs> that way. Okay. So the other thing. Back up, Bexy's mom. First of all, I'll be wild fucking one of them. <laughs> so, so the other thing, if you don't know about our uh, British culture, like the that's the fuck you, yeah, and uh, we say cunt more often but more colloquially yeah can we talk about fanny you, you guys call pussy uh, fanny yeah. but fanny then, pack yeah and and see but then we have a fanny pack but you guys call it a bum bag That's even right. though it's not worn on your bum even though we don't wear it on our butts but we call it fanny and you guys call it bum i wonder what's if, up with that maybe uh, you know what um maybe it was a person who had on their backside and then someone said why is it there we gotta get colt cabana on the horn He'll do you be store it in your boot for do you put it in your boot no I don't, i'm not even wearing boot i'm wearing flip no i'm so. talking about the back of the car you fag <laughs> you cigarette okay all right <laughs> easy, easy, easy. Um, so by the way listen to last month's episode with chelsea bonnet oh i like that one <laughs> i did it on that episode so you should excellent <laughs> um wayne's world wayne's world so michael just oh, yeah. so you know Zang. that uh <laughs> Generally speaking, the characters in that chair are the ones who say the stuff that we're like, huh. Should mm. we cut that out? <laughs> oh, no. He, that, oh, British! The chair can also edits it. the podcast, so I guess we're not cutting it. Ain't <laughs> the video won't have it. So, oh, no! <laughs> <laughs> That's going to be our Instagram clip. There we go. Joe McMahon. Let's play that part. What he said. Oh, J- Joe McMahon. That's yeah. true. Joe McMahon said the only thing that we actually had to edit That's out of the podcast true. before. Mm-hmm. I'm a fan of your show. Oh, thank you so much. But <laughs> but fuck us, I guess. Yeah, that's right. All right. What do you do? You have a job, or are you just a mom? Do I have a job? That's My right. son's fucking Banksy. You that's think right. I need a job? No. Wait, I don't think Banksy makes that much money. He works yeah. at a bank and he knows how to <laughs> ski. That's so what? he makes tons is, of money. Is wait, is his name Banksy? It's Banksy. <laughs> oh, I always thought it was Banksy. No, you're wrong. Yeah, we're well, we're of Polish descent. That's right, we Banksy. are. Banksy. You should check out our fucking door in our submarine. Now, how many of you does it take to open it? Three. <laughs> <laughs> Three of us. Okay. Great. And, and oh, Mr. Serio just laughed from the kitchen <laughs> hearing that. <laughs> Are you guys talking about submarines? Oh, oh Ringo. Right. Oh, you guys could instantly tell which one I was. <laughs> do, that's, do, do, that's an improvement. Do, it's do, not do. what you would say. No, but of course I do like my share of do to do. You know what I've never asked you? Please, I'm, I have time. <laughs> Probably many things. No, but uh, how did you feel open. when John Lennon was shot? Were you like upset? 1980. Shut oh, up. I didn't ask when was he shot. <laughs> <laughs> when he was shot. The Dakota It's Hotel. Ringoopedia. Yes, of course, the Dakota. Are you, are you that old that you're just here? Are you like Joe Biden, but for the Beatles? New York City. Yeah, right outside of Strawberry Fields. Yeah. Okay. Uh, did you finally beat Medicare? You know, when I was in the Beatles, I got my golf handicap down to about a six. Oh, that's pretty good. Yeah. yeah. About a no, it was an eight, or just six. I told and I told John I'd play golf with him. He'd carry his own bags. <laughs> <laughs> but you won't do that, will you, John? He's not. He's not with us. No. no of course, yeah. he died outside the Dakota. Your handicap is is lower than that. Your handicap's higher than that. Paul. Oh, John. John. <laughs> This is John, right? Liar, yeah. Okay, good. <laughs> yeah. Oh, but not Lennon. It's just some guy. No, <laughs> it's just me, John. <laughs> I thought I didn't recognize him. And also, John died in 1980 yeah. outside the Dakota. <laughs> Wait, but. what was that? Wait, I think there was like an asteroid, and now you guys don't exist. And I'm the guy from yesterday. <laughs> I wrote all your songs. Oh, okay. Have um, you seen the movie Yesterday? I, I'm very familiar with it, um, but I don't. But I don't. But you you wrote all whose songs? All the Beatles songs. You don't know the Beatles songs. No, who? What do you not know? Coca Cola Classic. <laughs> no, no. Is that a line from the movie? Probably. Okay, all right. Well, so you. Um, so the Beatles. I don't know what you're talking about. Of course, so. you don't know them. Is it an asteroid in the movie for real? <laughs> it's something like that. Yeah. <laughs> okay. I like. It does. Uh, it I does like, like a whole blackout. I like to do this thing in real life where I play, I pretend like I'm in the movie yesterday, Mm -hmm. except instead of the Beatles never existing, it was the Holocaust. (laughs) (laughs) 
and you pretend that you did it instead. Yes, like, ex- like that exactly. <laughs> and people are like, what's that? And I'm like, well, get this. Six million. <laughs> To be fair, they don't really cover it in the film, do they? No, I guess not. It could have. They could have been that way in the film. Yeah, they talk about fix you, but they don't talk about the Holocaust, <laughs> now, do they? And I think that's a fix cool you is a Coldplay song. <laughs> I know, but they talk <laughs> they, about they fix you. About oh, okay, they right. reference it because he plays one. He, I play a Beatles song, and they don't know it. And he's talking about how it's the greatest song in the world. It's like it's not fix you, oh. like the girl says. Which someone say is um, not in the top five Coldplay. Well, songs. Pan, uh, people like fix you. No, I do like that song, if I'm being honest with you. I, don't I like Coldplay in general. I don't give a, I won't go that far, but I do like that song. I mean, Coldplay's good. What do you like, clocks? There's a reason that I divorced the band. Oh, my God. Oh my God. I, do you guys mind if I light this candle? Gwyneth's back. Oh. That's right. Gwyneth's back. What does that smell? Oh, that smell? Say it. That's my ass-eating candle. Uh, <laughs> there it, is. Oh, it smells boy. like the smell from right after you eat ass. Okay. It's what a combination that? of spit and butt. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so what? But like, what would you compare that to for a frame of reference for like people listening at home? Um. Do you know like what you've got in your ass? <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, yeah. Now I get. Thank you so much. Like <laughs> that clarification from, oh. from, from right after that. Yeah, yeah. Oh. <laughs> it's, like, it's like spit and butt. <laughs> okay. Um, have, with or without a shower before. Have a nice life. Oh, thank you, Gwen. Oh, oh Gwen. Uh, Gwen. Oh, Gwen uh-huh. making out with my dad now. <laughs> <laughs> and then she said, "Have a nice life." Like she did that guy she sued. Oh. Who was that? She sued someone for a ski. Yeah, she hit, she hit somebody while skiing on a ski slope. Yeah. But then the guy made a huge deal out of it, and I think she ended up winning like a dollar or something. <laughs> yeah. It was like fucking stupid. I get it confused at the time that Taylor Swift sued that guy for a dollar and won. Oh, grabbing his ass or grabbing her ass? Or taking pictures up her ass. Is that what something. it was? Yeah. Uh-huh. And, uh, and then just won, just went to court. I thought he did a little squeeze. So maybe he did and then a little stretch and a beer. <laughs> Tip my toe to jacuzzi, <laughs> baby. Hey. What is that? That's Whoa. from, that's from so the Tenacious D. It's from my band, oh, Tenacious no, 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 D. Okay. I it's me, Kyle the, Gass. I thought it was two of the Gibbs brothers. <laughs> oh, that would have been Kyle. Fun. What? Oh, Kyle Gass. Be here too. I'm the least famous member of Tenacious D. And I'm, I believe, Barry Gibb. <laughs> and that's Barry Gibb or Jimmy Fallon. We don't know for sure. <laughs> no, I'm Barry. Barry was. Was Barry part of the Jimmy? Was that who Jimmy Fallon played? Yeah, you had the yeah. Barry Gibb talk show. And his brother Robin. Robin. That and of course, there's Maurice. Maurice, who had passed away. Spelled mm-hmm. Morris. And don't forget Andy Gibb. Andy Gibb. Andy Gibb. Mm-hmm. And we were the Bee Gees. You were, you were the Bee Gees. Yeah, but um, and did then you go into the commercial for? This is State Farm. Farmers. Liberty. Liberty. Oh, nice. Liberty. Liberty. Yep. <laughs> Everybody started looking at me, and I don't know why. <laughs> who, who came in right before me? It's uh, me, Kyle, Kyle Gass. Gass. <laughs> oh, you were Kyle Gass. Yeah, you might know me from Undeclared. <laughs> yeah. Um, that was a great sucks. show, too. I mean, if you were Jack Black, maybe we'd have something to talk about. There. Yeah, no, it's me, <laughs> Kyle Gass. <laughs> Kyle Gass. <laughs> yep. I well, you can talk to me. I'm Nacho Libre. Oh, okay. Oh, what's Nacho? up, Nacho? Reminder to the listener that Joe is half Cuban. <laughs> <laughs> um, hi, Nacho Libre. Uh, you're uh, sort of a cult classic. Yep. My yeah. name is Free Nacho. <laughs> it's a weird follow-up from Napoleon Dynamite mm-hmm. to Nacho Libre. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And I I mean, I'm a, I was a fan of Napoleon Dynamite. I'm a fan of wrestling. And I still didn't like that movie, and so I, I apologize. Oh, oh, you, oh I, there's some confusion, I see. Uh, there is a movie with Jack Black, but I'm Nacho Libre, the civil rights leader. <laughs> oh, so I, uh, you will, yeah, you, you're trying to get equal rights for nachos. Yeah, yeah, because you, everyone eats them. Yeah, and so yeah, they should sure. be served like out of trucks, just like tacos are. That's interesting. How, so you've read, <laughs> yeah, oh, right gosh. up on your platform. <laughs> I think it's very important. Um, yeah, so nachos have not been getting treated well, and yeah, just. Uh, free nachos. Mm-hmm. Wouldn't you like that? Yeah. Instead what's, of paying for them. What's, what's your opinion on on topics on nachos? Like how 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 would you organize? No jalapenos. Jalapenos. No, no jalapenos. No, no jalapenos. No jalapenos. That's, that's already pretty controversial. <laughs> that is, I can't be. You here. like steak or ground beef? Oh, or you're gonna po- hate po- this. Is no, it ter- ice it? cream. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so ice cream nachos then. <laughs> but you still put tomatoes <laughs> and sour sorry, cream and everything. Wait, wait, wait. I'm sorry. I have to ask. Are there chips? <laughs> 
<laughs> Man. Oh, okay. Okay. Oh, yes. Okay. Tortilla chips. Is this- no, yeah, no, no, uh, whatever. Or you, chocolate. Like the, a waffle cone, but the, like chip form? No, no, no. The chips are the same. It's, the tortilla it's chips. It's tortilla chips. It's a s- one scoop of sherbet. Okay. It's cheese. It's sour cream. Who said that? <laughs> okay, then you, uh, you guys are putting all this on us. Uh, it, it's me, the littlest guy in all of Baja California. <laughs> oh, oh, wow. I make, I make the nachos, but I don't make them free. <laughs> I don't know if you're showing up on camera. Uh, and where are you from, by the way? I'm from Baja, California. <laughs> okay, you're Baja. born and raised. Yes. Uh, okay, it's an interesting accent you have. Uh, yeah, how tall are you? <laughs> what? How tall are you? I'm three foot two, yeah. but I'm not. There's medi- got to be someone shorter. Well, no, I'm not medically tiny. I am just oh. like a. It, it's I think like you're three foot two. You're definitely medically <laughs> tiny. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, it's like you put me in Photoshop and then took the corner and dragged me down. Oh, uh, so, oh so you're proportional. Yes. <laughs> okay, I got you. <laughs> We could go. What ha- is it a disease or you're just? No, I told you it's not medically tiny. I'm yeah. just a little guy. Yeah. Oh wow. I'm so confused on the reality you're in. <laughs> I so, okay, okay. Have you ever seen the movie Elf with uh, Guillermo Ferro? Guillermo del Toro. <laughs> Guillermo <laughs> Ferro. Yeah. Guillermo del Ferro. Yeah. Well, and he was around the little elves. That is like me, except I am not magical. I am uh-huh. just a man. Uh huh. Uh huh. But. I- and they were they short. were like you they were they were but you know like Bob Newhart in that movie didn't have dwarfism you know he was just oh I see shrunk yeah. down were yeah. you shrunk down is that what happened did someone shrink you down no did no, Rick no, Moranis no, no. no. Okay. did Rick Moranis shrink you down <laughs> you can tell us yeah but he only got halfway oh <laughs> no okay, okay. so right. that something distracted him maybe his kids and he said he said honey I sh- I shrunk my friend <laughs> kind of he said <laughs> yeah, kind yeah. of I stopped I realized my mistake <laughs> <laughs> that movie not as popular because the title was awkward yeah <laughs> honey I, I shrunk my, my hand friend. kind, kind of. of I realized my <laughs> mistake yeah. yeah yeah you still could like step on Rated that PG. giant scorpion <laughs> if you wanted to yes I could but it was it's still pretty big <laughs> It's, it's just a scorpion. It's size. Just, I get scared. Yeah, that's I just fair. don't like bugs. <laughs> that's fair. Uh, well, you're the right, littlest guy in Baja with the biggest heart, from what I hear. You do a lot of charity mm-hmm. work. I do. That is medically big. <laughs> mm-hmm. Oh no! Oh, no. <laughs> oh, okay. no! That is. If I do have a medical problem, it is my heart, which is too big. Yeah, oh, you're no. like the Grinch, but it's a medical condition. Yes. Yeah. It was. I. I actually did have a small heart, and then I delivered gifts to oh. all the children in regular in California. California. Well, in oh, regular okay. California. <laughs> okay. Because I'd be sitting there every Christmas on the Baja Peninsula and mm-hmm. going, eh, those San Diegans. <laughs> 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 and I would... I would <laughs> Dabu Dores. <laughs> <laughs> I'd, I'd sit there like Frankenstein. I'm going, mm, and only when they got delivered presents. Why did you say like Frankenstein when the Grinch has the clear analogy? Well, because the, the Grinch sometimes maybe, I think in my world, the Grinch maybe does speak like Frankenstein. Oh, interesting. So, okay, so we're, we're really building this world out. This is like J.K. Rowling stuff. Uh, and I, I hate trans people, too. Oh, it's okay. Oh, no. If we, hate, if we hate J.K. Rowling, but no, I don't. Christmas bad! Oh, oh right. Frankenstein. Yeah, guy, it's the Frankenstein yeah. who drowned a girl at Christmas. Me, Grinch! Me, drowned girl at Christmas. Now Christmas bad due to the memory of the heart hurt that I brought to the family of that little girl. <laughs> yeah, I forget. You got burned down in a castle too, right? Yes. That yes. was where the Who's went and burned, <laughs> burned you alive. More because I had a menorah going and I knocked it over. You're Jewish? Oh, Frankenstein. Oh. Sure. Ah. Uh, is that is that what the problem's been with the Grinch the whole time? That's the, the problem been with the villagers coming for me with pitchforks. That's for not. Sure. There's anything wrong with being Jewish, by the way. <laughs> I just realized. I said the problem with the Grinch. <laughs> That's the problem. I just mean more. Is that why you hated Christmas? Not, oh, hey, sure. yeah, Christmas bad. Is that why you hate Hanukkah? Pretty good. Eight nights. Yeah. How do you feel about Adam Sandler? Uh, crazy. His that, eight nights. That's it. Okay. Oh, just that crazy. you like that movie. Yeah. Sandler, good! <laughs> He's still about, making quality right. comedies in this deal with Netflix. Okay, I'm going to run by all these Adam Sandler movies. You just let me know if you like them or not. Okay. 50 First Dates. 50 First Dates, good. I now pronounce you Chuck and Larry. Bad. Little Nicky. Bad. Quentin Wa- Tarantino, bad actor. <laughs> Waterboy. Bad. Uh, Where's the good ones? Happy you- Gilmore. Good. <laughs> Billy Madison. Good. Uh, rain on me. Oh, sad. <laughs> yeah. Big Daddy? <laughs> Don't you, mess with the Zohan. I want Bad. Frankenstein. It's like fire. <laughs> <laughs> Indifferent Frankenstein. Yeah. Larry David Frankenstein. <laughs> <laughs> Fire, pretty, 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 pretty bad. 
Um, all right, last one, Hustle. Hustle and Flow? No, no. you never seen Hustle where Adam Sandler plays like a, a scout? Or Uncut Gems, how about that? Ooh, tense. <sighs> like Whiplash. Also, oh, it's worse I, than Whiplash. Dude, oh, I can't believe I've not... I just pulled up uh, a website that's Frankenstein Movie Reviews. Mm-hmm. I'm also on Good. Letterboxd. <laughs> Letterboxd. Good. You know what else is good? Hey, they don't have you as a top critic on Rotten Tomatoes, just so you know. Furiosa, a Mad Max saga. Good. I can't believe that. I don't want to watch that. Challengers, bad. Challengers? What's that? It's a Luca Guadagino movie with Zendaya. Zendaya. And two other guys that kiss. Mike Feist, good. I don't know what that is. He's one of them. He plays Riff in The West Side Story by Steven Spielberg. Oh, I haven't watched that. What about the... New West Side Story, bad. <laughs> what about the girl who's... Uh, Old in... West Side Story, also bad. <laughs> what about the girl from the song Free Fallen by Tom Petty? What kind of girl is she? Uh, Good. Okay. Crazy about Elvis. <laughs> she loves her mom. Loves her mom. Horses. She's crazy about Jesus. Crazy about Jesus. She likes horses. Girl, good! <laughs> <laughs> She's a good girl. Um, now, Frankenstein, how come no one's ever, you know, like in My Fair Lady, where they get her to, like, the rain in Spain falls, or the rain, the rain in Spain rain falls. Rain over me, good. <laughs> no, no, no. Wait, wait, wait. <laughs> Didn't they kind of do that a little bit in Young Frankenstein? Like, he. Well, that's up... not, that's not Mary Shelley's. No, but I just mean someone kind of did. Who? <laughs> <laughs> I'll introduce myself. I'm <laughs> Mary Shelley. Mm. I don't know Piece if Piece of ass. <laughs> Am I? Am I British, Mary Shelley? Oh yeah, yeah. And, and Mary, and this is right. I think this is an interesting fact about you. It, hey, it's, it's me. Uh, it's me, Jimmy Fallon. <laughs> and Mary, Mary, this, this is a fun fact about you. Uh, th- 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 so tell me about this. You, so you and your you and your husband uh, th- had sex on your mother's grave. What was that like? Well, can we can we talk about this while doing karaoke in a car? <laughs> or you're not. <laughs> <laughs> it's me, Horatio Sands. <laughs> Horatio, you gotta get out of here. Oh, where's the seventeen year old? Horatio, you gotta go. <laughs> Wait, but you're not the one who does karaoke in a car? Is that the fat one? Nah, that's, 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 uh, that's the fat one. That's the fat one. That's fucking it? Gene Corden, it uh, is. <laughs> <laughs> fucking twat. Jim Corden or James it's Corden? Well, I call him Jim. Jim. Corden. I call him Jim. Yeah. Fucking red nose bullshit. Jim, Jim Corden. Original last name Jim Banksy. <laughs> <laughs> He's your daddy. Banksy, Jim Gordon is not to be confused with me, Jim Gordon. Thunk, Batman. I turned on the bat signal. Oh, right, you're the commissioner of Gotham. That's right, the commish. Ooh, like the TV show, the commish. Hmm. What do you think? Here. It's more like the TV show Gotham. <gasps> What do you think like is the biggest problem Gotham has really? Well, the writing was not good in the first season, but they no, got a lot of great come guest on. stars. Huh? <laughs> what? Are you aware of yourself? <laughs> yes. No. Yes, I know come myself. On. Give us a straight answer. I've read The Dark Knight. Um, but what's your question? Wait, you read the screenplay? No, no, sorry, not the movie, but the uh, Dark Knight Returns, the comic book by Elmore. But listen, uh, the biggest problem in Gotham, I mean, it's the crime. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> I got to go with the crime. Yeah. Yeah. So, like, I mean, because there's one thing, like, you're rolling down the street and you get robbed or, like, your car gets stolen, but, like, a fucking clown comes out of the sewers and rides a unicycle over to you and, like, so that tells you to look at his flower. You're thinking of the movie It coming out of the sewers clown. <laughs> yeah. And then he's like, you know, we all float down here. And then he just pulls me down the sewer and chomps my whole arm okay, off. I think, I think you're thinking of, are you sure you're not from New England? I'm I'm pretty sure I'm not from a town in Maine. I'm pretty sure there's no character in me that's just based on the writer. Commissioner Gordon, oh. are you at Shawshank Redemption? <laughs> I, yes, I'm currently stationed at Shawshank You're Redemption. You're at Shawshank Redemption. Yeah. It's me, Batman. Oh, Batman. Oh. Hello. Thank you. You sprouted the signal. I'm going to turn it off now. Trunk. Yeah, it's off. How's it going? Yeah, Batman, there's, what, do you, what would on, you say? There's a lot of cars running around. There's no drivers. What's happening here? Batman, well, what, that's what are you th- self-driving technology. That's oh, it's not It's not a movie with Emilio Estevez. <laughs> no, what's that? Uh, what is that movie, Joe? We watched it together. Do you remember? Mighty Ducks. No, that's not correct. Mighty Ducks 2. No, it's the Stephen King movie with oh, the Maximum Overdrive. Is oh. that the name of it? Oh, that's great. One yeah. of his, we watched it at Nate Simmons' house. What's one of his two? Me and Joe, oh, Batman the, the and tugboat. Joe. Nate, Nate Simmons. Nate Simmons. That's right. Him. No, Batman, let me get your perspective. What do you think is the biggest problem with Gotham? It's the crime. Uh, the crime. What's that? The crime. I could, it's, 
I'm being told to say the crime. <laughs> Can I come in and kind of be a dick here as Nacho Libre? Yeah, what's uh, up? Remember when you guys asked me what goes on? Is that pain? Is it pain? <laughs> No, what? It's, it's not Bane. Oh, I thought it was Bane. It doesn't even sound like him. He has a Mexican accent. It's I think all Mexican people no, are Bane. <laughs> Bane I, are, is, is it because Mexican. of my luchador mask? Yes, Bane wears uh, a luchador that's mask. That's a good point. Yeah. yeah. It's, it's well, close. kind of. I mean. Also, you have all that Venom stuff I'm flowing in. Bra- I'm actually Bane. Oh, Bane is here, though. Hello there, Batman. <laughs> Hello. How are you today? Oh, uh, Bane, I, I got to tell you, nothing makes me laugh harder in a Batman movie than when that little boy is singing the national anthem and he's singing, and the ra- Oh, he's been on this podcast, that tiny child. Oh, that's, that's right. right. He, yeah, we didn't read it. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah. I'm actually right here. Hi, guys. He had a mini the episode. It's red clear. And, <sighs> and then you just go, what a beautiful singing voice. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much, Mr. Bane. You're he, welcome. He since brought me on as his professional chanteuse. That's right. What is a chanteuse? Singer. I work a sewing machine. Were you on Epstein Island, Bane? <laughs> I mean, uh, don't check the call logs. Bane, Bane, give us a straight answer here, Bane. Is that what you were doing on that plane? Oh, you that were... plane, yeah. <laughs> yeah. That yeah. plane? Okay. Oh, hold on. First of all, <laughs> there's some lies in all this. Bane, all right? do you think we should... I'm a villain, and I still don't want to be on Epstein's Island. Yeah, do you think we should make the public make the files public, the Epstein I, files? Uh, uh, you know, it's confusing. There, there may not be honesty there. Uh, <laughs> The Kennedy file, sure. Aliens, <laughs> sure. But uh, no, I don't think they should. No, yeah, no. See, this is shady. That's Bane, all Bane, you're getting mighty defensive over here, <laughs> yeah. buddy. This is just how Trump acts about him. I come from the dark. Yeah. I turn the lights off and I jack off. Yeah, and that's well, just how I come. Oh, so you come in the dark. No. I'm aroused by the dark, okay. and I come from the dark. So, but when you do, if you, you were on that island... The moment... I ejaculate. All the lights come on. Okay, who is in that it's room? It's like a clapper, but it's a comer. I wasn't there. You I, simply I fuck only... in the dog. I jack off in it. <laughs> <laughs> I would sing the national anthem over the loudspeaker of Epstein's Island every morning. Check but the flight logs. He is on him. That was my only job there. My only job. I only sang the national Yeah, no, anthem. there's nothing disturbing about that. Yeah. <laughs> Just having sex slaves hear a little boy sing over, I, over their tortured pain. I, I was a billionaire, and I don't have an island. Well... Well, wait. Who, are you complaining to the kid? <laughs> I'm mad at this kid. <laughs> do you know anyone? Like, does, it, does he? Did he have something to do with it? Do you have any island real estate people? Mr. Batman, can't you just save me from the island? I'm sorry. Wait a minute. I'm a lawyer here, <laughs> and I have a list of, of everyone who owns property on that island. Is that yeah. Joseph McCarthy? Yeah, uh, yeah. <laughs> it's me, Joseph McCarthy. Yeah, and I'm looking at my list right here of everyone who owns real estate, and this boy owns 30% of the island shares. Whoa. Oh, that is true. You're probably really old by now. That yeah. movie came out in what, 2000? Yeah, it did. And I, yeah, and yeah. I, yeah, so yeah, am I 27 years old? <laughs> yes. Yes, but I still go and I sing the national anthem every day. But you know, hey, when it's time to change, it's time to rearrange, don't you think? Well, who you are and what you're going to be. Whoa, 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 no. whoa, whoa, whoa. Hang on, what just happened? I don't like that voice. I don't know what's happening. Oh, no. Are you a man now? I think I'm finally at 27 years old becoming a man. Oh, my God. Oh. A bunch of pubes just came out from his pants. Oh, well, let me unattached try. pubes. I guess I'll try to sing the anthem. Sing it. As my as- baby, <laughs> I can't get enough America, babe. Oh, I don't Ooh. know. Oh, I boy. don't know. I can't get enough America. You're going to get in babe. trouble with the right wing with that. This place oh, has shit. gone downhill since Jeffrey died. Uh, Dahmer or Epstein? Oh, Epstein, <laughs> of course. So, uh, okay, you, so you've been to the island then? Oh, I've I basically found the island for you. Oh, okay. Fun he fact. simply oh, rented the island. <laughs> I <laughs> owned it. <laughs> simply. Well, that seems like as good a time as any for us to... Oh, I was going to say, though, going back to the Gotham thing... Is that Bane? <laughs> no, it's not. <laughs> I'm Bane. <laughs> yeah, you're Bane. <laughs> <laughs> what is this, a presidential debate? <laughs> um, Timely. But, but I was going to say how... Remember when you guys were asking me what goes on nachos and I tried to give like a I silly... I would love to know your nacho order. I was saying, no, a silly answer was ice cream, right? Because that's oh, incongruous. Kidding. Yeah. But when you both said stuff that's wrong with Gotham, you simply went with crime. <laughs> so um, I was being silly and goofy yeah. with my answer. And there is nothing silly about crime. No, there's nothing silly about crime, son. I mean, uh, you think I got to be the police commissioner by being silly and goofy about Gotham City? You think I got to be the head of the nacho movement by being goofy and silly? The head of the 
The well, nacho. <laughs> nacho. Okay, sorry. Just making sure I heard you right. Uh, you're, so you're ahead of the neo nachos. <laughs> <laughs> the proud nachos. <laughs> Yeah, you're stop you, the steal. Yeah, you big believer in nachoism. Yeah. Cue a nacho. Yes. Uh, can, I, can we go around and get everyone's nacho order instead of doing plugs? Oh. No, I don't want to do that. That's okay. way too much. <laughs> <laughs> That's gonna be repetitive. Okay. Right. And Matt, you got a thirty ounce steak. Oh, thank you so much. Well, well oh, done. This That's is why well it took done. so long. Yeah. Yeah. Can you get me some uh, a one sauce? Some what? A All right, now, ladies. Yeah? I hate my fucking job. What's your name? Let's learn yeah, a little bit. Yeah, by the way, real quick, before we... Did, yeah. we, did we ever meet you, Outback Server? No, do, I, do you have I, a name? Are you written down? I wrote a sad manager of Outback. <laughs> He's a manager. A, ma- a man in charge. Do you, have, do you ever regret taking the manager? Do you wish you were still a server? I mean, you know, it's a pay, it's well, a pay raise, Also, I guess. you're bringing our food out to us. Yeah. So like, oh, so I know. Well, no one wants to work. Oh, of oh, course. Yeah, okay. Sure. Mr. Pacino, would you like another white wine with your Aussie for us? <laughs> uh, let, me, let me see. Let me see. Let me see. Let me see. What are, what's going on? <laughs> okay, all right. Well, let's go into play. Right, yeah. Uh, so here's who we have. Uh, Hipster Gallagher. Yeah, um, smash them chickens, cluck, cluck, cluck. That'll be in Branson, Missouri for the next five years. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. You have a theater there. But in like a cool area. Like it's an up and coming area. So it's like where a lot of uh, ethnic people used to live. Oh. Mm-hmm. And I'm moving them out. Used to live, yes. And and then I'm like taking over all their neighborhoods to open up theaters and fun little coffee shops. Do, do you guys think there smash will, chickens. Do you think there will be a time where like things from our youth or whatever will be at Branson? Like... Will we go to Branson to the Ben Folds Theater oh, or man. like that kind of stuff? That's really, I mean, it would have to be, right? Yeah. I mean, eventually Yakov Smirnoff won't be there anymore. Yeah, he'll die. Yeah. Like the Daniel Tosh Theater. <laughs> I've got like. my eye on that Yakov spot. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Like that. Yeah, it'd be Smirnoff Broadway. <laughs> you like that? All right, let's move on. The All Matt right. Rife <laughs> Opera um, There you go. <laughs> Mr. Serio, yeah. Michael's father. Uh, I would say the, my biggest plug is just to watch the Bears. They're looking good this year. I'm <laughs> telling you, we got a brand new quarterback. We got a brand new thing. We got we're, it's, it, things are looking up for the Bears. So yeah, you're promoting Bears. other people to yeah. watch the Bears. Yep. <laughs> I got nothing going on in my life. <laughs> <laughs> you I did do, kiss yeah. Gwyneth Paltrow, didn't I, you? I did, but I also <laughs> the only thing I look forward to is sending my son vinyls because that's the only way we can connect. <laughs> oh, that's <laughs> nice. Well, the realest thing that's ever been said on this podcast for <laughs> sure. <laughs> well, thanks for the beers, Mr. Serio. Yeah, don't worry. Just don't tell the cops. <laughs> yeah. uh, Peter Francis Geraci. Uh, I... I Apparently go into courtrooms and try and convince people with my charm. I mean, it's like a charisma suck. There was a period of time comes. where he had commercials where he did not blink. It was like 30-second ads, and he would just be reading the teleprompter. Isn't that still what I do? I think someone told him, like, dude, you got to blink, and they wrote it into the script. Do you think sometimes uh, if I'm on a date, a woman's like, eyes up here, and I'm like, they already were? <laughs> yeah, I think that happens. Careful, you're going to get slapped with a lawsuit. I'm Peter Francis Geraci, and uh, sorry, that's autopilot. Yeah, you're reading, Mr. Serio. Can you hit that switch for me? Off, hit off. Turn the off. teleprompter. Yeah, off. yeah, I got there. There we go. Ooh, I tell you. I mean, these 15 year olds. Do they? You can't tell the difference now. Nice. Wow. <laughs> so when the camera's tell me about on. It. Oh no! <laughs> wow. Oh, Peter but, Francis, your asshole. Yeah. yeah. Uh, well, hey, man, what a perfect transition to uh, Eric B, Gene Riggs, and Hulk Hogan all at once. <laughs> Back to back to back, now, a solid Eric B group. was who? Uh, he was the one who uh, was in the Scopes Monkey Trial and oh, then yeah. decided to make a reference. Eric uh, B. Eric B. But First of all, it was the 20s. And, uh, uh, was yeah, it? again, we've established just because you're talking about a period. <laughs> yeah. It just doesn't mean you can use all and the words because that were okay in that period. The reality of the situation is we are characters in, uh, we're doing a podcast right now oh. where you are not actually a <laughs> guy the from 20s. the 20s. I'm confused. Yeah. Okay. Also, but what I what also confuses me is you're Eric B. from the rap duo, yeah. Eric B. and With Rakim. With Rakim. Yeah, 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 sure. Yeah. <laughs> okay. I've, I have, weird. I'm I mean, a high, that is weird. I'm a Highlander. <laughs> I don't actually age, so that's where the racism comes from. Can be You're telling one. me Highlander's not a little racist? Mm, yeah, I mean, yeah, I can't he, with that. He's like racist against the Anglo-Saxons. <laughs> Somebody, okay, <laughs> whatever instrument he doesn't like, I don't care. Um, I like that you used the appropriate term. That was a joke I made about it. A sax. 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 No, I sure. Uh, I'll, be, on, I'll be using a megaphone out in public yelling things that are inappropriate. Oh, all right, great. 
Is that Matt or is that Eric B? <laughs> <laughs> that was actually Gene Riggs. <laughs> oh, okay, cool. Okay. Uh, Gene Riggs is here. Yeah. yeah, I'm here. I'd like to promote my birthday, obviously, today, July 9th, uh, the day we record this. Uh, I'd also like to promote Ronald Reagan and how he stole my farm. Oh. Yeah, he stole my farm back in the 80s, and I f- talked about it for the rest of my life. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, right. well, Hulk Hogan then? Sunday, 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 brother. We're doing the geriatrics wrestling WWE competition. I'm taking on Jesse Ventura, ex-United Ooh. States Senator. Yeah. And giving him the old knee slap right into the groin. That'd be a good fight because don't they hate each other? Yeah. They do, yeah. yeah. And it'll be um, probably a small card because not a lot of wrestlers make it to that age. <laughs> <laughs> knee slap to the groin, huh? Yeah. Classic Hulk Is move. <laughs> I know he's sitting here with us. Is he still wrestling? No, 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 no. not no, at all. Not and he also, he, he like truly is starting to look old for the okay. first time. Like he's always been bald and stuff, but he's like yeah. starting to look like an old man. Okay. Um, all right, Paul Hogan. Yeah, uh, Crocodile Dundee 4 coming to theaters soon. This time, uh, you know, before I battled, you know, the people in the city and then people back home and then the, the crooks in Los Angeles. And now I'll be taking on my greatest foe yet, Wokeism. Oh, no. <laughs> yeah. Well, we need to have four straight characters then, huh? <laughs> you guys, you guys want to go around and give another good Simpsons memory like we did earlier? Yeah. Um, <clears throat> Mac, well, I mean, the softball episode is just the bees knees. Oh, mm, that's yeah. a good one. I like. Also, the- that episode is like showing how small town cops do hassle people, sure. like a Steve Sack. Hey, sexy mm-hmm. boy. Yeah. Yeah. You just don't know when to keep your mouth shut. <laughs> um, Matt Groining. Uh, God, I appreciate you guys mentioning my work so much. Uh, mm. Yeah, I'd like to plug the fact that I'm shocked my show's still on the air. Mm. Who still watches it? That's a good really question. I feel like it's. Can we? Let's be honest. Who still watches my show? It's FX none of us. just shows it. FXX just shows it. Yeah, but them, it's like we still make new episodes. I don't even yeah. know if we have writers anymore. That's the one group that I Is think. Is AI? Yeah, we were like, let's just let, fucking let them do it. I mean, at this point, you put every Simpsons script in, you could probably make a pretty good AI you, episode. You could probably make, honestly, 30 more seasons. Yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah, how long have we been on the air? Since 89, 90? 89. Yeah. Since Tracy Ullman Tracy was Ullman, hot, of course, yeah, still hot. If you ask me, same brother. Andy? Keeping it tight. Is Tracy Ullman hot? Keeping it tight, brother. Cool. Yeah. My celebrity crushes are her and Hillary Clinton. Aww. All right, guy who got jacked off by Lord Bubber. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, of course. My name's Jack. Uh, I just want to promote the new Beetlejuice movie, Beetlejuice, Beetlejuice, coming to theaters. Uh, and of course, the, the main episodes don't end when we say Beetlejuice course, three times. That's only the main episodes. Of course. Uh, I, by the way, big fan of your show. That's what Thank I was listening you. to uh, in the theater. As you were getting a hand job. Yeah, yeah. I didn't. I don't like musicals. So I was listening to you guys' podcast. I loved how you uh, groped her during the as sort if you're over, like a 12 year old. Yeah, just like titty, just like rub. Yeah. You know, they, mm-hmm. they, all, they love when they rub. When you rub yeah. a titty I'm kind of confused. Did someone catch you doing it and then the camera they looked yeah. back well, okay she kept vaping and <laughs> i didn't know that and part. singing along to the music and but, like she was a real asshole but honestly if you're gonna get jerked off in the denver buell theater <laughs> a beautiful place to get jerked off yeah at. yeah i mean i can't argue with that i mean those those freezes yeah. are beautiful mm-hmm. those uh those uh beautiful uh, beautiful wink i'd love to come up with one other stage term those uh, those beautiful uh, lights uh, boxes. Oh, Presidium. there you go. Presidium. Oh, orchestra uh, pit. M- mezzanine. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guy Jacob Jingleheimer Schmidt by Lauren Bobert. That's my name too. Yep. People same. shout at us all the time. The Bane had that same confusion with Nacho Libre, apparently. <laughs> where he, <true>. thought, <laughs> he did. couldn't tell the difference between himself and <laughs> a Mexican wrestler civil rights leader for nachos. Mm-hmm. I thought it was a mirror. No, <laughs> not good. <laughs> All right. Sad manager of Outback. Yeah. What did you guys need? Oh, no, we're doing oh, plugs. Just, yeah, plug something. Yeah, yeah. Just pl- what? I just, what guys, I'm want. fucking like busy. Your restaurant. Oh. Plug your restaurant. Outback? I don't fucking own it. Do you, do you need more people? To employ? No, we said in a fucking Red Lobster. We're doing fine. No, you, you said, said people no don't want to work. work. Yeah. You're running <laughs> food. Yeah. No. We, oh, oh, staff. You mean? Yeah. yeah of I course. guess I don't. I. I don't care. Yeah, you really don't. Well, I, I work twelve-hour shifts Buddy, at an Outback. You got to get a new job. You're not happy. Yeah, here. like I've got a lot of qualifications. <laughs> if I fucking manage an Outback, go across the parking lot to the Chili's and try to work there. What? That's not. That's a lateral move. Yeah, literally. Like it's right across the parking lot. Well, yeah. Do you guys want any more food or not? <laughs> no matter what Outback you work what? at, what? there's a Chili's of right across the is. parking lot. What what desserts do you have? <sighs> the Aussie nachos. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> and that's that's chips and ice cream. No, no, a chips and alligator meat. Okay, all right. Do you guys that sound Fa- good? Famous and as Australia. a dessert, <laughs> they love alligator meat in Australia. That's not a Cajun <laughs> thing that we do here in America. Look, we're trying something new with the menu. All right. Oh, so you're doing a whole Cajun thing? Yeah, it's like the outback. If it were, in well, you know, like let me get the etouffee down under to go, and that's it. <laughs> <laughs> do you have those Australian po boys? Are they there as well? Yeah, yeah, the Sydney po' boy. Yeah, uh-huh. look at one of those koala po' but po' boys. Perth, gumbo Perth. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, that's something new we're trying. So Great. I guess I'll plug that. Who gives a shit? Um, See you in a mini episode. Yeah, Al Pacino. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, we're plugging things. So if you have anything coming out, you want to plug. Anything? I got, I got, I got, I got another baby cut on the way. Oh, oh so you already did plug something? <laughs> I did. I, I, I plugged my wife. Yeah, she's not your wife. I don't think. What? I think she's just some woman. <laughs> don't don't confuse them. <laughs> <laughs> All right. All right. Thanks, Al. I go to a bathroom. Okay. <laughs> Someone help them. That's Aww. like the sixth time you've had to do that. <laughs> yeah. uh, Robert De Niro from Meet the Parents or the Intern. Or also the end. Don't the end. Don't forget. Don't forget the Intern. Uh, I'm going to be at the airport. I'm going to be doing a... The film? Uh, <laughs> or that's a terminal. No, I'll be... What? You're going to be in Airport 77? No, I'm going to be at the airport, and I'm going to make my uh, daughter's uh, boyfriend do, like, uh, a test. Uh, the, the, uh, what the fuck is it called? A, uh, <laughs> oh, uh, how uh, about we come back to you? All right. Okay. Uh, uh, Italian I'm, translator guy. Well, a Robert li- De Niro. A lie detector, a lie detector test. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then I'm going to squirt some milk at my nipples. Yeah, okay. That sounds good. I lost the accent. Right. Was there an accent? A little bit. <laughs> oh, that's <laughs> perfect. <laughs> Italian translator guy. What you know? Uh, just remember, uh, what do you guys? You guys want me to translate something? On the yeah, way sub out? subtitles for like, uh, what's that line in? Pul- since we're doing Pulp Fiction, what's that line Quentin Tarantino has in Pulp Fiction? Oh do yeah, that do that one, please. <laughs> oh, uh, he's like, um, th- uh, this coffee is pretty good. Oh okay. Yeah yeah. No, it's like uh, no coffee. Cafe good. el bueno. Oh yeah, in in mi co- in mi conoce, I'm in coffee el bueno. He asked a question at one point in time <laughs> about his home and he what said, it does just, or does not look this like. This looks like some sort of storage. Yeah, like yeah. a storage <laughs> facility. <laughs> Can you do that one? Uh, yeah, in Italian. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. No, I want to hear it in Italian. Uh, I'll probably <laughs> say, say the word uh, eggplant a lot in Italian. That's a word they like to use. Um, I mean, that's I'm a word gl- that they like to use. I'm glad we're we're talking to a character in that chair and not that one. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, okay, I got the goal. Okay. So I, got the, I got the balls to say it. <laughs> yeah, that, that's what we'll call it. Andre the Giant, but Michael Serio style. I will be in the wrestling with the Hulk Hogan and Jesse oh, Ventura. Whoa. I thought you had died. Yeah, I'm I'm like the uh, who's that guy? The the, the crypt keeper, the, <gasps> the Undertaker. Oh yeah, yeah, the <laughs> Undertaker. Not the crypt keeper. You don't mean me. <laughs> not you. That's no, not you. Not, not you're talking about. Get out of here, crypt keeper. And crypt keeper's not gonna plug anything either. <laughs> if you show up during the during the plugs, you don't no. get to plug something. But what if I have a fun little joke? No, you always no, have a fun no, little joke. No, no. Get it in now or don't get it in. I have Sounds like Al Pacino. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> All right. <laughs> Is it my turn yet? Uh, uh, yeah, other Andre go, the Giant. Yeah, okay, so I won't be wrestling because I'm dead, so that guy's obviously a liar and the imposter, and I'm obviously the real Andre the Giant. Um, but uh, I just want to be plugging, of course. You don't know this, Michael, but I died, and I can't get to the heaven because... I'm too big, and so I sit outside of heaven. So if you come to heaven, just give me a high five. And also check out my self-help book I'm releasing uh, called uh, You Only Need One Strap. It oh, was, right, because yeah. that's what you used to wear. That's right, and it's about how you can pull yourself up by your one strap. Hmm. Mm. Uh, we all, all right. shared a polite chuckle about that. <laughs> 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 all right, Banksy. Uh, yeah, just uh, the reason I hide my identity is to try and get away from me mom. Hopefully. Okay, good. She's not here. Oh, Banksy's mom. What is that? Damn. Oh, Andy, God. what in the fucking cunt are you doing? Uh, she, it's hard. she has to come plug something. I'm oh, sorry. It's God, not... I hate this one. I wish I could see you. God, you're so blurry. Mom, don't be giving them PBRs. <laughs> I'm not going to give them no B. No. Fox. Jeez, Mr. Serio's got his hand on her ass. I'm the new host of Whose Line Is It Anyway? Oh. Yeah, points. No points. It doesn't fucking matter. I liked, I liked whoever the lady was on that show. I can't remember her name now. On the uh, British I'm, one? I'm or like, are we talking Aisha Tyler? 
I'm talking about the British one, right? Yeah, yeah. I'm like struggling so hard to think of a woman that was on that show. I just thought of Wayne <laughs> She Brady. was British. <laughs> was Wayne Brady on the British ones ever? He was just no. on the American ones. No. They just say American But Ryan Styles and Colin Mockery were on the British yeah, ones. Yeah. Oh, my good friend, Ryan Styles. He got me on <laughs> oh, the set of the Drew Carey show he did, but the show had been off the air for a long time. Uh-huh. He's still just sitting there at Warner Brothers. It's what's sitting there? The Drew Carey set. I went to the backyard with the pool table. Uh-huh. I went down to the office where Mimi used to sit outside Mr. Wick's office, right? Craig Ferguson. Yeah, exactly. Mm -hmm. Sure, I went down to the bar where Kate and the other ones used to hang out. Ryan Siles. Can't think of another set, really, besides Drew's house. Dietrich Bader. What's Kate's name? Uh, it's uh, She's on! I know, she's married to... Shrinkage! She's married to the guy that... No, no, no. Yeah, it's Krista... Chris, Chris, Krista, Krista Miller. Krista Miller, yeah. Krista yeah, yeah. Miller. Yeah. She she's went married, on to she, be on Cougar Town. Yeah, she's married to the guy that created Cougar Town. This was always Scrubs. so embarrassing growing and up. Scrubs! I just go into detail about sitcoms. <laughs> it was always so, yeah, that was what was so embarrassing, especially because specifically she'd be all talking about Drew Carey's show and doing that whole thing she used to do with you. There's an yeah. episode where Miles from Murphy Brown plays the devil he does. Wow. Yeah, that's wow. right, he does. On the Drew Carey show? Yeah, on the Drew Carey okay. show. Joe well, Walsh was the neighbor. We really got to go. Yeah. You sure? You know what? <laughs> they used to do improv on that show. They did. They'd ring a bell, I tell you. I've never had to we really got to go a guest <laughs> before. <laughs> All right, and, uh, then. So you guys get it then. Yeah. I'll be back for a mini episode. I see why you became an artist and why you have to fuck with people by shredding their paintings right after they bought them. <laughs> <laughs> um, all right. Oh, Paul McCartney, another British artist. Oh, uh, I don't think Paul was here. I, I think believe it's it, Ringo. I think it was me, actually. Oh, was it? Yeah. Oh, I apologize. You thought the whole time that it was Paul? That's how fucking stupid you are. Okay, to be fair, you did do to do a little bit. You asked me to do I do the do, and then you do to do. I did the do. Yeah. Yeah, and that reminds me, just, I have a current sponsorship going with Mountain Dew. So you know please, who else does? Please. The guy from Baja. So do the dude. California. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so he has Baja Blast. Yeah, I he's got to, a blast. I have just regular style. Oh, very good. So uh, do the dude. I work for Code Red, I do. Oh, my God. Somebody <laughs> kill her. It's going to be a Code John. Red. John, British guy. Hey, you have a gun so on you? I'm, I'm here to kill her. I brought my copy of Catcher in the Rye. <laughs> <laughs> And then you're going to use that to kill. I'm going to kill. I'm going to kill her like John Wick. I, I am. Okay. And, and they start hunting me down. I'm going to take my book and shove it in her mouth. I go, Kish. Wow. That sounds like a good last scene. <laughs> I can't wait to see that. that. Was, that's the last scene in the movie yesterday. My version. <laughs> Uh-oh. That leads into the next guy from yesterday. So, right. So, um, I went to Moscow, right? With Ed Sheeran. And I wrote a song about going to Moscow. Is it called Back in the USSR? It's called Back in the USSR. I, since, since that whole thing earlier, I remember the Beatles now. Wait. We just had John and Ringo. You're and not one of the three people that <laughs> remember them from the movie. No. You know what I didn't like about that film? And I'm in it, right? <laughs> I didn't like that there was really no comeuppance for the guy. It's kind of like Dear Evan Hansen. Like, mm. the whole time Dev Evan Hansen's kind of lying, right? He mm -hmm. should at least get in a little wee bit of trouble, and mm -hmm. he doesn't. They're like, nah, it's fine. You'll probably be fine. There's like a, a song about it, right? I think all of us hating Ben Platt for five years after that movie came out was enough punishment for Well, I guess so. But to be fair, I saw it in Chicago at the formerly Oriental Theater, and I will call it nothing else. Thank oh, you. Did you, get, did you get jerked off there, too? <laughs> <laughs> I was there with Lauren Bowman, so we did have a real good time. Yeah, I was there, too. Jack, I was there. Mm -hmm. Same. Yeah. She was using both hands, if you know what I mean. That's like my cock, too. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, I'll be on the uh, I'll be on the telly. Great. Yeah, I uh, during that long <laughs> stretch, I was mugging to the camera about how much you did not enjoy what was going mm -hmm. on. Uh, let's see, Gwyneth Paltrow. Hi guys, I have a new candle here. Oh no, that I want to plug. Uh, uh, we had the ass eating one. Yeah, that was the ass eating one. Uh -huh. uh, this one is is uh, just called. Uh, um, Two girls, one cup. It's oh, called God. two girls, one candle, one candle. Oh, that's yeah. a fun name. <laughs> two girls, one flame. <laughs> and what it is, it, f it smells like combined the menstrual fluids of two girls. Oh, oh. Uh, go back to kissing my dad. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> Mr. Serio. Yeah. Mr. Serio. <laughs> Dude, your dad is cleaning up. <laughs> Mr. Serio, talk it is. about the bears. All right, Kyle Gas. 
Uh, yeah. I, I mean, I'll be around Jack Black from time to time if you want to see me. Uh, I'm sure you're Tenacious playing in Bloomington, D. Indiana soon. Am I really? Mm-hmm. You're the uh, youngest Rock the Vote fundraiser. In Bloomington, Indiana. Mm-hmm. That's you're the fun. youngest person to ever graduate from Juilliard. That's a valid point wow, that I Rick, am. Is that really true? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I went out to be, uh, I was in LA. I worked with uh, Tim Robbins' group. Yeah, the that's Actors where, Gang. The Actors Gang. That's where you met Jack. That's where I met Jack and we formed you were, stuff. You were kind of more of the musical guy than the actor from what I understand. Yeah, I'm, yeah. I play a good guitar. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Right. I guess graduating early doesn't matter because, like, Robin Williams graduated after you, but had a, I would say, slightly better career. <laughs> but he graduated in classical guitar. Yeah. Oh, uh, okay, okay. <laughs> yeah. Did Robin Williams play fucking classical guitar? No, he hung himself. No, he, huh. he also didn't do that either. <laughs> didn't he? <laughs> uh, well, I think it was. It was pills. Had, no, no, he had. A, I'm pretty sure he hung himself. And you're sure you're not getting it confused with the movie Father of the Year? I know I'm. I'm possibly <laughs> getting it confused with Father of the Year or Insomnia. Okay. Um, all right, Barry Gibb. Yes. Um, <laughs> I would just like to plug uh, the movie uh, Staying Alive. Sure. It's the sequel to Saturday Night Fever, uh, and it was directed by. Does anyone know? Does anyone know? Louis C.K. Does anyone know? <laughs> does anyone know? Sylvester Stallone. Uh, and it stars John Travolta, and it's real, and it's from 1979. It's a sequel. To, to Saturday Night Fever. I have the, uh, speaking of vinyl, has your dad sent you the, the vinyl for Saturday Night Fever? No. Oh, he, it's a good no, one. He just He's like a, this on the cover. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. He just sent me a vinyl for Ted Nugent, though. Oh, mm-hmm. is Stranglehold on it? I, I have no idea. I He's a horrible it. man, but that song is so fucking Cut good. Scratch Fever! It's okay. Wango Tango. Cover. Yeah. Wango Tango. Gotta go. All right. Nacho Libre. Uh, Viva la revolución para Nachos. Goal. Slow turn of the slow, page. Slow turn. <laughs> <laughs> Littlest guy in Baja. I think we already kind of talked about your plug, but. Uh, yeah, I mean, the big plug I have is that it's more of an anti plug. Christmas. I have to stop it from coming. Mm-hmm. Agree. That's Christmas right. Bad. Frankenstein Grinch. And you both are working on Baja Blast together now. I hear yes. he's partial owner. Yes, yes. yes. He Talk wa- about good. He wants to make a kosher, but I'm atheist, so <laughs> it's kind of... Uh, but that know. you bought it on Shark Tank, right? I <laughs> forget <laughs> Really quick. That reason, I out. I <laughs> wanted to. I wanted to send it to. I wanted Mister Wonderful to buy it, but he was gonna. Mister Wonderful was lowballing me. Mm-hmm. I forget what it is. Frankenstein <laughs> made you a fair offer. <laughs> <laughs> I forget what it is that makes Baja Blast not kosher. I think there's. I don't know if there's anchovies in it or something. Really, that, um, that's a real thing. No. Oh. <laughs> I was so in. I was like, Did Jesus I, Christ. I was pretty sure anchovies are kosher. <laughs> I, I, just, uh, I, thought, I was thinking of a shellfish. I should have pulled a shellfish. <laughs> I have to say, that's my favorite episode of Shark Tank you're on, though, where you're like, 500,000, 10% shit. <laughs> Take offer now or leave. <laughs> Shot clock ticking. That's what I said. Cuban always screw me. Me take offer behind the barn and shoot it. That's what I said. <laughs> <laughs> That's great. Was that still Frankenstein or was that Andy at the last That's, second? Uh, that was Frankenstein. Okay, cool. Uh, Mary Shelley? Um, yeah, I don't know. It's just barely here. So I guess by Frankenstein, but like whatever. I mean, you don't. At buy this point, the book. Buy Frankenstein. Buy Frankenstein. At this point, that's got to be in the oh, public the pub- domain. Oh, it's in the public D for sure. Yeah, definitely. Public D. Public that's D. why. I, yeah, and Kyle, you're in. Tenacious D. That's where you guys do all public. Uh, we only do domain covers. Yes, exactly. And that's right. why they're so tenacious on pursuing the public domain. Uh-huh. Our new song is. Should all the acquaintance <laughs> be forgot? And in the steamboat <laughs> willy whistle. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Mary Shelley hung herself. Oh, um, Jimmy Fallon? That is, I mean, yeah. <laughs> oh, my God. That's so cool. That's so cool. I uh, hate you, by the way. <laughs> I so find cool. you to be insufferable. What, what else? What else? <laughs> I, I, I just cannot stand you. Oh. <laughs> okay, okay. Is there anything you don't find funny? Um, <laughs> like, I need to take it. Have you seen The Joker? <laughs> He is he is Joker. <laughs> oh no! Oh, he just handed me a card. Oh, he says when. Oh, that's why he laughs like an asshole. Okay. Oh, d- okay. Does it say when the announcer brings me up as on the Tonight Show tonight? Would you mind if he calls me Joker? 
<laughs> All right. Uh, so, tonight show, I guess. Do you want to plug yeah, that? Tonight or? show. <laughs> okay. We're not okay. getting anything out of it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. Uh, <laughs> Horatio Sam. Oh, boy. I'm so can... Carol. Okay, great. Yeah. <laughs> Who's next? Uh, yeah, that is... <laughs> if you weren't on Epstein's Island, holy shit. Uh, you should have been. <laughs> yeah. James like, Corden? Some people had no trouble. They could just find underage people in New York <laughs> City. Yeah. <laughs> but, I, t- I use the internet. <laughs> I forget. James Corden was here? Uh, I believe it was you. Mm. Or was it you? Oh, no. Oh. It was Jim Gordon. No, you, yeah, but James Corden. No, you were James Corden. Too. You were James Corden? <laughs> All right. Sure no, someone went, someone, he, I went was real British this Jim episode, Corden. I guess. Are you thinking of me? No. Hi, I'm Jim Gordon. I thought someone was James Corden. He was for Jim Gordon. Gordon. And you were anyway, James, check oh, you out were the James Corden for a second. I was James. Episodes of The Commission on Netflix. And uh, also, uh, if, you're in, if you're in Gotham City, knock the crime off. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Batman. <sighs> I walk the streets at night. I usually stop and I, I buy food at the 7 Eleven. Did you know that zingers are made by both Hostess and Dolly Madison? Wait, so which Batman are you that talks about this stuff? You Robert Pattinson, Christian Bale, Michael Keaton? I'm all the Batman. George Clooney? I'm all Val Kilmer? I guess you're Val Kilmer based on your voice. Diedrich Bader? Did he play Batman? That's right, the yeah. Brave and the Bold. Adam West. Oh. Just wanted to get Deidre Bader in one more time. Could be Will Fort or Will Arnett. Will Arnett. That's Lego. a Lego movie one, right? Nonetheless, you, you and Lego Batman. Uh, but zingers are made by both hostess <laughs> and Dolly Madison. But then I the, thought Dolly Madison just helped people cheat on their wives. That's Ashley Madison. Oh, okay. And that was I know a good documentary. A little bit about that. Is it really? I actually liked it a lot. Yeah. But I'd like to promote crime because without crime. There's no need for me. Come on, Batman. This is what we do. We are trying to knock off the crime. Just break my light. They'll build a new one for a new franchise. (laughs) All right, Bane. Oh, hello there. Did you know Dolly Madison and a hostess also make zinc? Yeah, we knew that. Someone just told us. Yeah, it was Batman, actually. I'm going to go break his back. (laughs) This. (laughs) (laughs) Okay, as long as you don't break my back, if you know what I'm saying. You got your voice back? What? What do you mean? Like... Like have sex with you. Yeah, okay. Have you ever had the expression getting your back blown out? Yeah, of course, but yeah. it's just weird coming from you. Well, remember, I'm 27 he years old. I know, but the voice still old. is upsetting. He's 27. Um, He's I'm an adult. Not like, I'm 27. I w- I've been lots of ages. You know, 13. Yeah, no, I've been plenty of ages. <laughs> yeah, myself. right? 13 with Evan Rachel Wood. You know, 19, the average age with the, the soldier Vietnam that soldier? died in Vietnam. <laughs> Wow. Uh, but now I'm 27. No, 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 so what, are you plugging anything or no? Yeah. The I, average age of musicians that I, die. And I'm oh, going to die. Man. Yeah. I'm oh, going to okay. die just like Janice and Kurt, uh, Kurt uh, mm-hmm. Jimmy. I got a white lighter for you, buddy. Oh, I love it. A white letter? White lighter. Oh, white lighter. Yeah. White Wait, lighter. what does it mean? I don't know. A white. lot of a lot of a lot of famous musicians died with a white with lighter. With a white lighter, pocket. really? Yeah. Really? Let me have it then. No, well, I need it because I'm 27 too. So. Oh, <laughs> All right. Well, check out Dark Knight Rises on Max. Okay. Yeah, probably. Joseph McCarthy. Communism. It's gonna be big. Oh wait. Oh wow. <laughs> So you've changed since the Oh, 40s. yeah. Wow. Okay. <laughs> I'm all, uh, I took my, uh, you know, they say when people get older, they get more conservative. I did the exact opposite. Wow. Okay, great. That's real cool. I just watched a documentary about Roy Cohen, and uh, man, you and him were just one of the worst tag teams of all time. Oh, yeah. Did you know, uh, the only reason I said the whole communism thing was because it was a tactic to get elected. I didn't actually believe it. Hmm. Really? Yeah. <laughs> You had to get elected by those Wisconsin dipshits. Oh yeah, oh, Mr. Yeah. Mr. Pacino, you played Roy Cohn in, uh, in Angels in America. I, right? I, I played uh, the Michael in The Godfather. Okay, we got <laughs> we got we got to move we got to move on. <laughs> All right, I mean technically the Crypt Keeper. <laughs> no, he has no plugs. <laughs> <laughs> Even though clearly Tales from the Crypt would probably it. Yeah. Um, all right. Uh, well, Michael, thank you for being on. What uh, you got anything you're plugging? Yes. August 30th. I'm putting on Love a one night only fantasy epic show. Whoa. It's going to be fun. It's going to be a whole kind of play interactive theater sort of thing. Comedy show. Uh, wow. It's at Chicago Theater Works. And What's it Aug- called? Uh, Fantasy Quest. Fantasy Quest at Chicago Theater Works. Where yeah. is that? That's off of. Uh, that's right off the Belmont stop. Oh, uh, nice. Right off the Belmont, like Brown Red Line stop. Nice and easy. Is to it the to. old Comedy Sports? Where is it? It's no. It's 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 on the other side. It's where was it? Studio three oh three. Studio B. Yeah, it's 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 where that's like. It's on Sheffield. That's Sheffield. 
yes. closer to the Sheffield side. Yeah, this is a little bit very, south of not the from Vic. Chicago, by the way. Fuck you. Yeah, pull up a goddamn Google map. Michael is one of this. Become one of this city's uh, the greatest silly boys. You oh, go I check love out it. That show. Uh, when you can. There's a, there's also an island where silly boys are that Epstein had. <laughs> That's right. Yeah. And that was the better island to be on because it had ball pits. Instead of, <laughs> <laughs> instead of just balls. Yeah, things got really silly. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> oh, little I, kid. I think I saw some silly string behind my ear. Oh, God. Oh, oh that's right. Dan Schneider was on that island. That might be hair uh, gel. Hang on. I'll just use it as hair gel. Kimmy. <laughs> oh, my God. I thought. Oh, wow. Now you're on a date with Ben Stiller. I, I thought ben we were Stiller. still being silly. I know him. Oh, yeah. That's right. I forgot. <laughs> I thought we were still being silly, and I thought you were doing a clown bit where you're like, I got a string behind my ear and was kept, would keep pulling it out. I got I to be honest, Michael. It was probably semen. Oh. <laughs> um, What's in her hair? All right. Joe, what about you? I, uh, now, the thing is, because we're recording, I'm trying to go, I know I'll be at um, CYSK on July 31st. I'll be at the Lincoln Lodge 26th to the 27th, as well as the Paper Machete on the 27th. Mm. Uh, July 14th at Will's North Woods Inn, uh, they're doing a showcase for, or I guess everyone who's going on the open mic is going to get a chance to get on the show vouch at Laugh Factory, so that's, that's kind of cool. Yeah. And I think what about something August fourth that listeners of this podcast would, would be. Well, that's what I'm saying. I don't know when. When like, oh, you don't yeah. know what day August fourth is. No, like, no, but like August second. Will would the August be, episode come out? Well, but, yeah. but but I think we're going to start dropping these on this Friday. Okay, cool. Then August fourth, character assassination as Fraser Beast. <laughs> also, you just plugged so many things from the end of July. <laughs> 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 um, yeah, Fraser, you'll be doing Fraser Beast live mm-hmm. at the Roast of the X Men. Character yeah. assassinations, Roast of the X Men at the Laugh Factory. Do you need the wheelchair again? I did think about it. <laughs> Someone was like, "You got to get that wheelchair back." I was like, "I just gave it back to him." Yeah, right. Uh, so we'll, we'll 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 be in touch about that. But uh, uh, yeah, so the road out. Can I can I transition? And yeah, sure. Like, Is that that's all you were doing to begin with, right? <laughs> sure. Yeah. Rest of the X Men. Uh, Joe, you're gonna plug the thing that I produce. <laughs> <laughs> Is uh, going to be at the Laugh Factory August fourth. Uh, so come check that out. Joe will be on it, mm-hmm. and uh, and I'll be on it, and uh, and then you can come to. I can't forget. Well, there's some other host of this podcast that's only been asked once at the last minute, and he uh-huh. had to wear a diaper, and he said no because he had self-respect, <laughs> and he's never been asked to be on it again. Yeah, I mean, it's you know, you were still a live performer at the time that I asked. I you. was. Yeah. I still know. Oh, how to I forgot. Live. July 13th, I'll be in Kansas City, headed lane barrel of the bottoms, and doing set to destroy. Proud of you, bud. You're in KC. Go check that out. Yeah. Hey, and we've talked about a couple things on this episode that uh, you can go listen to Musical the Movie the Podcast episodes mm-hmm. on. That's the podcast I do with my fiance, Steph. Uh, we just Chelsea Hood was our guest here last month. We just had her on on the episode that's coming out this Monday uh, to talk about. Pitch Perfect from 2012. Oh, fun. And Chelsea was in uh, like glee, glee groups and acapella groups in college. So it's yeah. a very fun uh, chat. Uh, and we talked about Dear Evan Hansen. We talked about West Side Story. So go go check out. Uh, we've, we're having a really fun season. We did Wonka with Adam Burke. Uh, we did uh, Sarah Perry came on and talked about uh, uh, Walk the Line um, along cool. with my cousin Petra who uh, got very deep into the auditions to play young Johnny Cash oh. uh, and talked all about that. So go check that out. Musical the movie the podcast. And it's our sister podcast on the Dumb Fun uh, Network. I'm now remembering July 19th. I'm at Out in the Open Mic in Humboldt Park and 10 p.m. at Comedy Clubhouse that night. Look at that. Out in the Open Mic? Yeah. it's a, it, Honestly, it's so fun. It's just a show they do out in Humboldt Park okay. by the, like I guess the boat area or something like the water yeah yeah okay uh, uh, last thing i'll say is it uh check out our patreon to support our podcast and sure. also supports musical the movie the podcast that's at, true uh, patreon.com slash dumb fun that stopped really my bank account from being overdrawn <laughs> oh, that. that's good that was a fun little surprise yeah. uh speaking of patreons guys get ready because uh-huh. i was high the other day and i had a great fucking idea <laughs> so i am starting my own little podcast thing called the matt riggs dollar a month club uh, I'm going to be putting out podcasts. I'm going to have a Patreon where you can only donate a dollar a month. There's no other things. Mm-hmm, no and my all. goal is to get every human on the earth to donate a dollar a month. And then you'll, that's all you need. And then I'll you'll, be you'll a billionaire billion. within a month. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll be. Ev- I'll fucking buy out Bezos by the end of the year, right? Mm-hmm, so uh, please, once it's up, it'll be on huge. my Facebook. It'll be on my TikTok. It'll be on my Instagram. It's called the Matt Riggs. Buck of the Month Club. The I'm, Matt Riggs on Instagram. The, I'm pretty sure yeah. Jeff Bezos is a trillionaire, though, right? But I'm telling if I make $8 billion a month. That's true. It'd only take him like a, like, like, what, 
12 months? No, hang on. I'll do that. No, it'd be way I'll more than that. If he's a trillionaire, it would take, <laughs> you know, it would take multiple <laughs> years. <laughs> <laughs> the fact, okay, it'd be about 112 months. The fact that it would take that long to make as much money as that asshole <laughs> is fucking ridiculous. <laughs> and that's why we need to do it. Get, make true. me a millionaire, billionaire, gazillionaire yeah. at Matt Riggs's Buck that's, of the that's Month That's the shorter club. version of Who Wants to Be a Millionaire where Regis tries to set up your Patreon. Yeah. Uh, so what the, should we put a cover photo? <laughs> uh, Michael, thank you so much for being here. Uh, looking forward to, to uh, seeing you throughout the month for the mini episodes. The minis. Um, thank you to Eric Far- Farlow for our theme song. Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. To all of our Patreon subscribers. Chris R. And uh, yeah. we'll Half see you guys in the minis. We're Andy, Andy, Joe, and Matt. We're Matt, Joe, and Andy. We're Joe. Matt and Andy. Bitch.